Yes, week 16 of set of six 2024. Thanks for joining us. And what a shock around 16 against the Titans was at the weekend. They just didn't look like they wanted to be there. They've been pretty disappointed in the Warriors. Insane. They look a shadow of the team they were last year. Did not see this coming. Yep, I can't disagree with any of that. And it's a head scratcher as to why this happened. So many things swirl around in your head when you watch something like that unfold. Why didn't someone take control of the team's performance during the game? Where was the resilience? The resilience they showed in 2023. And why was Sean Johnson again playing with niggles? And speaking of Johnson, it's clearly been a tough year for him. This post on Instagram lays it all out. All I'll say is it can't be easy playing with niggling injuries, as seems to be the case all year. So it's probably for the best that he's out for a while now. Hopefully, he'll be back to 100% one day. Of course, what also didn't help was those shocking decisions that went against the Warriors in the game. Both Thermal makes a wrapping action. There is no foul play. Huh? That was actually the decision that got to me the most in this one. That was a high tackle any day of the week. It should have been a penalty to the Warriors on the 10 if they score from that next set. Who knows what sort of game might have unfolded from there? Because it was nil all when that high shot happened. Then there was this just before half time. Well, that's a try. That would, I couldn't believe that was a no try. Yep, Andrew Johns is spot on. And then there was the Sinbin of RTS, of course, which also drew a lot of criticism. Very defensive. Oh. Look at that on camera five. Yep, so we're one on one. He goes down to the ground with him. Show you again. For me, this is moderate force and moderate risk of injury. It's all one on one. There are no mitigating circumstances. He, he lands on his back, he, but case, he initially he? lands on his back, but then his head hits the ground, and the fact that he goes all the way to the ground with him is what well. elevates it for me. Okay. Um, G, you're gonna sim bin Roger and put him on report, mate. Dangerous tackle. Honestly, what a joke. And since when do we penalise guys for what could go wrong? It was not dangerous. There was nothing wrong with that tackle whatsoever. I just think it's a, an overreaction. So can the Warriors turn it around against the Broncos? Of course they can. A couple of things in their favour here. The Broncos are also going through a rough patch right now, having not won for over a month. The successful halves pairing of Tomaiti Martin and Chanel Harris-Tavita are back together again, and Mitch Barnett will be back for this game. Man, the team missed him big time last week, didn't they? And Kurt Capel's a chance as well, of course, depending on how much playing time he gets in State of Origin 2. Well, that's it for another episode of Set of Six for another week. Thanks for watching, and if you're at Mount Smart this weekend, see you there.